Hello everybody and welcome back to Divinity a Dragon Commander. I don't believe we actually have to meet anybody. We have no research to spend. So let's uh, get to the strategy map. We do now have, of course, have the politics, but we only disagree with the undead, so and the public opinion hasn't changed. Okay, we need to move in on this place. We need you to go up there and get that wall factory. I think that's why I'm sending you. Although, to be honest, we might as well capture this place once we're here. Uh, we need to build another transport. We need one of those. And. Let's see, we've got. One armour, one grenadier, because I lost a bunch of stuff. We'll do that. And. Troopers, hunters, grenadiers, right, and fine. We need the transport, because it's just more convenient. Let's have one of those. One of those and one of those? Let's see, we've got six, we could buy a shaman instead. But we can't build three, otherwise I've got two troopers. Screw it, two troopers. Grenadiers aren't all that useful, to be honest. That looks like... that looks good to me. We'll just defend this point at the moment because they're probably going to attack from their capital. We could move straight in on their capital. Or we could surround them. I probably will send a splinter force. Probably send this hunt here to take their town in there. Or the parliament first. We're going to put up any fight. Ah, see, told you they'd attack. The IR smart. Right. What they got? I've... Oh, they've used the mercenary card. A couple of shamans. Do I not have any cards? There we go. Don't have any standard cards of the dragon powers. Um. No, I don't think we need any. We'll do it ourselves though. They got a hunter squad. If we get taken out by my armor squads, trooper squad, and for those hunters. For those, right. We are good to go. I've already got real rejuvenation as a passive, so... Okay, we're back on this map. My units are slow. Right, we need that first. And we need hunters to the war factory. And we might as well get a battle forge. Construction in progress. There is no reason to doubt your insight, sir. Good, because doubters will be shot. 
believe I have their attention, at least. There's no point in me building a shipyard because I'm planning now to build transports out of it. Hello, what are they sending over here? Just a single troop? I think their troopers are actually a lot quicker than my grenadiers, but there's only one, so... Nope, oh, they sent reinforcements. Might as well give these guys a hand. Or well, this guy a hand, I should say. Select both four factories or just that? It does select both. Oh, okay, we don't want that. Meh. We'll have it. Unit is being manufactured, Commander. Your unit will roll out momentarily, Commander. Sound the trumpets, hunters here. We're under attack, but we will hold our ground. Away! Ah, die, shamans. So I was producing hunters out of Your unit will roll up momentarily, Commander. Your unit will roll up momentarily, Commander. Okay. We'll add this as well. Get unit is being some of those. And some of those. They've got Grenadiers overwatching. Anti air turret in the back. Okay. Now you're fine. You you? Expect a few casualties. Up just sitting around. No mountain can stop us. Don't be pushy. Right, well, that's really weak in their army. We'll just wait for mine to finish. Show 
me my prey. Well, to be honest, I could probably just win with this fight here. Where's my gold, Commander? To be honest, I'm probably going to. I did just win with that lot over there. No Merton can stop us. That's why I like hunt that's why I like hunters. Hunter on the prowl. Alright, get in there. Hunters off the leash. They won't even see me coming. And victory. We're getting better at this. The opinion has changed. Okay, the imps and the dwarves and the undead have gone down a little. And the elves and the lizards have gone up. I'd rather please the lizards. But. You know. They can say what they want about them. My motivation is increased by 10%. Ah, oh, that one in the bar wants to talk. Okay. Who? Ah, you. Okay. What? Imps, Commander. Are they not truly the lowliest of all the races? Were it not for the hint of demon cunning in their blood, we most probably wouldn't speak to them as much as serve them for supper with a series of seasonal stuffings. As it is, however, the Lizard Lords have deemed it fit to strengthen the military cooperation between ourselves and those demoniacal dewdrops. I'd exhale an existential sigh upon the hearing of such folly, yet give it no further thought but for one devilish detail in the treaty. It is I, as our foremost general, who must, quite literally, stoop to inspect their armies. An impish high priest will be present, Figures fit for farce that are greeted and received with ridiculous amounts of highly ritualized protocol. As Henry might say, Commander, I'd rather lick marmalade from an orc's behind than bow to an imp. My very reason for currying your draconic benevolence at this hour. Certainly I have your blessing to abstain from these grotesque formalities and tend to business rather than etiquette. Just <sighs> your wish, my command at sorry cetera. But if there indeed be hoops, the snapping of little necks will be added to the ritual. Okay. Just, just you're a general. Just do it. I must say, I don't envy Edmund, Commander. He's to bow and scrape before an imp of all things. <laughs> if twere any other general, I'd publicly protest. But that conceited tosser. Deserves to kiss dust once in a while. Remind him he walks the earth just like the rest of us. Well, except you, perhaps. Well, I can't stay as dragon forever. Stand in the path of a dragon knight and you'll be obliterated. Once more, this has been spectacularly proven. Thank you. Combat and carnage! Huzzah! You showed him, Commander. As far as I can tell, our enemies are quaking firmly in their boots. Good sign as any, really. Fair dues. Right, the engineering bay. I need upgrades. I'm not sure what upgrades I need.
How about we get this just for now and then save the points? Back to the bridge. Um, no. Right, you. I don't know why I did that, because I actually need to go and get hit. But never mind. We'll do that afterwards. Right, you've captured that. You may now come that way and go up north and capture that wall factory. That hunter is going to ninja across there. Could actually just do with a third transport. I mean, they'll be fine dug in there. It's not going to be too bad if I build a hunter unit, is it? Two hunters there, and there's two hunters there. So we might as well have two hunters there. And we should be good, we just need to conquer the rest of the map. Okay, let's roll out. Oh, they cloaked their warlocks. Well, okay. The imps didn't like the fact that I obeyed their protocol. Okay, well, fine. Fuck you then, imps. Transport mercenaries. It's quite annoying, actually. Commander, no doubt you rejoice at my swift return from the land of imps, that borough of blight, that cyst in civilization. Returned have I to more glorious heights. The gods I'd thank if I believed in any. Do forgive me if I appear exceptionally smug today. But I was very flattered, you see, to witness how my reputation precedes me even into the very crevices of the world. The imps had heard of my approach and my modicum of resentment for their rituals. I was therefore pleasantly surprised to be greeted with a cordial handshake no more. Yes, he was rather an agreeable chap, as a matter of fact. The high priest, I mean. After the military inspection, we played chess and talked philosophy the night through. It goes without saying, I won every game and lacerated his logic like an eagle its prey. But he was not as devoid of all intellect as I had expected his entire species to be. A comforting thought, somehow, knowing you trust them to strap explosive engines to your back. I do. Frightfully boring folk, those lizards, Commander. That general of yours held our high priest hostage with board games and... and chatter. Our engineers built a great tower just to blow it up again. A great gift for the envoy of our allies. But did he come and watch? No. Preferred conversation to combustion. What a nincompoop. Oh, so that's why. Can I have sent Henry instead? Commander. I am pleading here today on behalf of a dwarven miner who was cruelly left to his fate by his own kindred. An incident in the mines cost him his leg, and he is too poor to pay for a proper prosthetic one. Henry, your own general, could afford impish machinery, but the dwarves, who easily could as well, will not provide for their stricken fellow. Well, I say they should. Indeed, the state should. We can, so why not do so? Hmm, not sure. If the state should pay for each and every work accident, for every broken nail and broken leg, we'll be paying through the nose, and it's your finances that'll be crippled. Mark my words, Commander. 
Listen to that bleeding heart elf, and the treasury will bleed the more for it. Oberon's tale is a shocking one, Commander. If this miner suffered such a dreadful injury while working, then the mining corporation in charge should pay for his treatment. And if they won't or cannot, then yes, the nation should. There are more with a prosthetic limb than without among us imps. Comes with the territory, I suppose. All those volatile war machines. Most of our top inventors have more metal than meat to them. And of course, it's only fair the government chips in where they can. Just like diseases, accidents are simply punishments from the gods. If this misbegotten dwarf lost a leg, he probably took the Seven's names in vain, or forgot to say a prayer before dinner, and they saw it fit to make him attentive of his sin. Paying for his convalescence would be tantamount to forgiving his trespass, which only the gods have the least to do. You just don't like anything, do you? Yeah. The people deserve a kind emperor and a generous one too. You are both, Commander. Well, let's go on to another battle then. We'll land here. Four grenadiers, three troopers, two hunters. Uh, traversing the ocean is taking forever. So next turn we're actually just going to move on to the captain. I have research I can spend. Ah, we don't care. He says after that. Warlock's got cloak. Ah, grenadiers to come and defend. Bring it on. A transport and a grenadier. I could bet the army do this themselves, really. Oh, I got popularity penalties because I'm um, minus 5%. I could let the army do this themselves, but I can't. I kind of want to do it. So. I like fighting these battles. Oh, we get this map. Okay, right. Well, down there. No man can stop us. You get down there. Construction in progress. They use that. Oh, I've got my own transport here. Okay. Battle Forge completed. Unit is being manufactured, Commander. Okay, they got there at last. Pavian blood, the grave be their destiny. It'll be built in a jiffy. Bring me the spoils of war. We need this little area here. The transport's in the way. Your 
crush them one leg at a time. Let's get this dance of death started. The grave be their destiny. We're under attack, but we will hold our ground. I was going to explode. Do not appreciate such man maneuvers. Never mind the maneuvers, go straight out. Construction in progress. Construction in progress. Let's fully take that turret construction site. It is not a trap. Unit will soon be ready. Unit is being manufactured, Commander. It is fine. Ground turret completed. Hunters off the leash. Don't, Don't worry, guys. We got this. Your unit will roll out momentarily, Commander. Your unit will soon be ready. Where can I take you? Hunters off the leash. Sound the trumpets, hunters here. All right, all right. I got my license to kill. Okay, we should be about ready to squash them like bugs. They've not got a lot going for themselves. A couple of anti-ground turrets that I could probably Your unit will roll out momentarily, count with a bit of armour. Sound the trumpets, hunters here. Like the wind. They won't even see me coming. But other than that, they're not really posing much of a problem at the moment. They did, they did research Warlock Cloak, but they don't seem to be using it. At least if they are, then no, they're doing a very good job of it. One more armor, we'll go squish the turrets. That much for population here, was there? Hail for all. Enemy recruits are defecting to us. Our glory foretold. Construction underway, Commander. Yeah, no, actually, they're overloading their units.
They run out of recruits. Getting the hang of it. What's up now? Under or down? 40%. Uh, doors at forty percent. Yikes, what a vixen. Can't dear old Kathy be happy with the wages she gets? Not like she has to cook or clean. Listen here, Commander, for I have a matter of great import that I should like to bring to your attention. In the realm I ruled, that rule was absolute, as was that of my vassals, women all, of course. We concerned ourselves with matters of mastery and the mind. Men with all things menial, according to the natural order. On this ship, however, I find myself trapped amid so many cocks of the walk, the one more swollen with self-importance than the next, only to discover these pompous windbags actually earn more wages than Scarlet, Prospera, or I do. Oh, you poor thing. If anyone, it is we of the superior sex who should sooner receive more silver and gold than those of the savage variety. You'll set right this iniquity, Commander, and you'll do it now. You didn't say the magic word. Bitch! So you should. And I hope this is the last of such nonsense I've had to deal with. Well, you do deserve equal pay. You're not getting more. You stuck up cow. Typical of Catherine to get miffed over money. I don't care what they pay me as long as I get to brawl and booze. Yeah. To engineering. Okay. So we might need the Zeppelin. Ah, that's what we need. There we go. Let's get the Zeppelin as well, because they're kind of happy. But having said that, I could have just—I could have actually bought some dragon powers. You remain true to your leg, my privilege. Well, I can anyway. There we go. Not bad. Okay, we've got time for a couple more matches. Yeah, 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 your public opinion is, is really low, so... Let's have you not go that way. You know what? Two hunters, four troopers, five grenade squads. Let's just do that.
Well, okay. Well, let's do this. Shaman mercenaries. As well. Let's have Grenadier mercenaries and... That one. This is where I match twelve troopers and we've got eight hunters to take out those, so and those. We've got the armor to take out their hunters, so we shouldn't be that bad off. Right, we need Blood Leash in and Aura of Annihilation in. that way. You found me, did you? I did, now move. Right, okay, that's their base, so on the trail. Picking up their scent. Go, go, go. Time to get drunk and fight. There's a lovely little island there which I can't get to yet troopers over there and get to it. I may actually need to build the... Uh... I may actually need to build something. Okay, well... Um... Be built in a jiffy. War factory it is. Uh, are they coming this way or are they... Capture that turret, just in case. There is no reason to doubt your insight, sir. Capture that. The grave be their destiny. Build that. Okay, they have actually come over. Big guy coming through. Always ask for the ticket. I'm going to lose all of my initial units. Always ask for the ticket. I apparently started with that recruitment suit ago as well. Die! Ah, I'm on cooldown. Ah, curses. Come on, mouse. Mouse, behave, please. Let's have an anti-air turret, really? Will soon be ready. I'm the one being hunted here. I'll 
Nasty cap. Out of rank, to say the least. How did they capture that one? We're gonna need to do something about this. Kind of. Now. Your unit will soon be ready. Hunters off the leash. Construction in progress. Another shiny ship for your fleet. Anti ground targets completed. We'll be built in a journey. Oh, they've warlocks. And they've got the beetle power. Okay. It's fine, I've got some hunts now. He's turning me into beetles. and they really don't want to lose this place, so... You'll find me most useful. looking for a palace. It's a shame he's going to have to die. Unfortunately, Zeppelin's and Warlock, well, Shaman's and Warlock can play over Warlock. 
What's the medical emergency? But you still hit them with anti ground attacks. Doesn't make a lot of sense, I know, but. There's actually nowhere to land on their island, so. We'll just keep it to the recruitment center. They seem to have become waiting for its death. Unit is being manufactured, Commander. Afraid, almost. Your unit will soon be ready. Not enough support. Okay, I'm at support. Hail and kill. Pavian blood. Recruitment citadel completed. Well, I've got this lot, so. Zeppelin's increased range of all nearby units. So they're very useful. I don't think that warlock's going to do much against my base, but... Unit is being manufactured. Come on. I have one more zip. They do have a lot of anti-air turrets. Let's go. Hope we don't hit too many fish. Every day I'm Zeppelin. There we go. And when we move in, we will come out as a dragon and Let's get this dance of death started. I have the order of annihilation bonus as well. Right, okay. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Of course, my lord. We fight for freedom. So what we need to do is move all of our troops into here and Push them, basically. You found me, did you? Free as a bird. Let's keep the Zeppelins away from the anti-air turrets. And get the tanks in. Okay, it's dragon time. Look at all the death and destruction. March, my pretties, march. I believe I'm hitting the right button. Yes, I am. Can't hit me if I dodge. Now I have healing fire. They beat all one of my Zeppelins. There 
There we go. And then... Thanos is dead. Victory. Didn't even lose any units. And this battle needs to be done. Um, you have a light unit specialist. But I have nothing to help you with, I'm afraid. I don't see how transport mercenaries are going to actually do anything in, useful in my favour. I might, I might lose this. I actually want it. My. Oh my. Dwarves like me even less. That's because I uh, equality the uh, the pay. So of course that pisses off the dwarves. Stealth technology picked up everything, even squirrels. Yes, because squirrels are stealth ninjas. Catherine has gained a level in light room specialist. Nice. Invigorate, your arms have more hit points. And all the area is produced at 50 to 50 discount. Nice. Commander, the war is displacing a great many people, and thus the influx of a great many foreigners into the realm is inevitable. Many of them are driven to crime by want or ill will. To that effect, I propose that if a foreigner is found guilty of an offence, he or she should be deported immediately. Delinquency is on the rise, and we need a few effective deterrents to curb its proliferation. I actually wholeheartedly agree with you, chap. Enough. What do you say? Foreign criminals seem to abound like sand on the beach these days, Commander. Let's be rid of them, like Falstaff suggests. In fact, the sea would be as good a border as any to make them cross. Yes, let them drown for their misdeeds. <laughs> Well, you're a happy chap, you just want to execute them. Many criminals inhabit our realm, Commander. Such is the unpleasant reality. Some of them are domestic, some of them are foreign. Punish them when they are caught, but do not make the distinction. Well, we're not making the distinction at the moment, just deporting foreign criminals, because we can. Oberon and I are of the same mind in this matter, Commander. Deportation just seems a bit excessive. And I very much doubt it's the structural solution Sir Silvervin hopes it to be. No, 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 Commander. Falstaff has it all wrong. We imps force foreign convicts to do all sorts of dirty and dangerous jobs. Why deport when we can make them drudge? Uh, because that's not an option at the, this point in time. I would happily... I would happily accept an alternative, but I've either got a yes or a no answer. It's not really politics as sort of just agreeing or not. Capital so. Commander, let others provide for this petty riffraff. We'll have none of them no more. Souls jail overcrowding too. We're killing two burglar birds with one stone here. I mean, if this was actual politics, then maybe I should be able to, you know, to get a different idea from your proposition. Like the imp said, why not? Why deport them when I could make them work? That'd be much more useful. Praise be, it shall be my. Shut up and just give me. Okay, I need. Story progress. Um, 
none of those are really going to be used. So, units. And I can't do expert units because I need story progress. So, I guess upgrades then. Like that one. That one. That one. And. That one. There we go. But we have actually been going on for long enough, so we'll have to finish the territory off in the next episode. All we need to do is defend it against a counterattack, and then we win. Because we have their capital. We just need to own it for a turn. If they can if they can actually counterattack it. Which they might not be able to, because they might not have any transports. But anyway, I thank you all for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below, tell me what you think. Or say hi, or both. Leave a like if you enjoyed this episode. You can also share with your friends. It would help me out a great deal, and I'd very much appreciate it if you did. And you can subscribe for more. I shall see you all later.